Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I want to show you how to create a Q file for your PlayStation 1 games. Now, a lot of these games that we're getting now do not include a Q file, but it's very simple to make one. You can actually make one in a text editor, or the easiest way that I've found to do it is to find a game that has a Q file. Say Metal Gear Solid. So we have a Q file here, .q. In this folder, I have a few games that do not have a Q file. What I'm going to do is just copy this extra or this Q file from the Metal Gear Solid game, and I'm going to paste it in with my three games that do not have a Q file. I want to create a Q file for Bloody Roar 2. So all I'm going to do is edit or rename Bloody Roar, copy rename the Q file for Metal Gear Solid to Bloody Roar 2.q and I'm going to edit the Q file with a notepad and right here all we're gonna need to do is paste the name in and add a dot bin to the end of it file save now we have a Q file for the Bloody Roar 2. It's very simple. If you want to create one in a text editor, you can do so. They just need to look like, I'm going to close this, snap it to this side here. The Q file needs to look like this, but in here needs to be the correct name of the bin file. So if I want to make this into a bloody, or let's say I want to make this into a Darkstalkers 3. Easy way to do it, rename, copy the correct name, and paste it right in between here. Add a dot bin to the end. File, save. Now I just need to rename the Q file. The same exact name as the Darkstalkers 3. So now I have created a Q file for Bloody Roar 2 and a Q file for Darkstalkers 3. We'll make one more for Tomba and for that I'm going to use the Metal Gear Solid Q file again. So we'll copy a working Q file paste it into the same directory as the game you would like to create a Q file for. Copy the name of the dot bin, which is the ISO, it needs to be exactly the same as the bin. Copy, we'll rename this Q file. And we need to go inside and add the exact name here with a dot bin on the end of it. File, save. And I just created three Q files for these three games. Very simple. So in the description below, I will leave the exact text that needs to be typed. So it will look something like this and all you need to do is change your X's to the exact name of whatever game you are trying to create a Q file for it needs to be the exact name and you can just copy the the name of the ISO which is very easy rename copy and paste it right into where the X X X X is and when you save it, you just need to rename the Q file. The exact name is the ISO or the game you're trying to create it for. And you will have a working Q file. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. It's actually very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you can go through and build a bunch of Q files. A lot of the Japanese games that I have didn't have a Q file. And I had to create Q files for them. So if you already have a 
working game with the Q file, you can use that as a template. That's the easiest way to go. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below or send me a private message. And like always, thanks for watching.